it, it's so hard to find a situation that makes sense for LeBron. The first question you have to ask yourself is, does he require a maximum contract? That's a good question. What do you What do you think? Now, if he wants to play with Bronny, and that's like a dream of theirs, which is an admirable dream because Ken Griffey did it with his dad in baseball, and it's a beautiful moment. I mean, you've talked about this before. It could be like an all-time moment. Playing with your fucking son in the NBA? Yeah. That's an all-time moment. I mean, if I'm a dad, I get to play with my... Not only do I get to play with my son in the NBA, we score in the same game. To me, that would be more important than ever winning a championship almost. Hmm. Like as like a human, right? So like Jordan never, obviously Jordan never did that. Kobe never got a chance to do that. I mean, does who else has had a chance to play with their son at this level of their career and fame and still put up the points LeBron does? It's it's unheard of. It, I I agree. Longevity is cool and all, but I, I'm a peak guy. I, I want to look at your peak when yeah. you're competing for championships. You know when you were at your all-time best, and LeBron's just not... Like, he's not even the best player on his team, let alone the best player in the NBA at this point, you know? So, when you're looking at that, and then the next question is, who drafts Bronny? Because if we're saying LeBron, for some reason, he's still requiring a max, even though he's a billion-dollar man probably by now, with all the commercial deals, his contracts and everything, it, all, it, all, it would just make too much sense to... He has to be a dollar man by this point. Yeah. But, like, does he require a max? And that really, really limits the teams he can go to. You brought up a good point earlier while we were at work, talking about, like, let's say he goes to the Pistons or he goes to a really bad team because that's a team that wants to draft Bonnie to bring him there. I don't know if I want to see that. And then they win 20. You want him on the Pistons winning 25 games? That's not worth it to me if I'm Bronny him. gets 10 minutes a game. And then what? He just rides off into the sunset next year? Just to say he played with this kid? Yeah. I, I or, mean... Or... The opposite question is the Suns draft Bronny somehow. They trade into the draft with whatever they have left. I think they have one. I think they have a draft pick this year. So say they take Bronny and then they're like, LeBron, come over here. We're going to give you a minimum. I mean, LeBron and the Suns wouldn't be bad. Who did you say earlier? The Bucks. The Bucks. Yeah, the Bucks would be an awesome choice if they're able to pull this off. The Spurs, too. He said at one point in his career he wanted to play under Pop. Yeah. So that'd be kind of cool to see Wemby and LeBron. And, I mean, the whole Bronny thing is kind of like a... Side, uh, side mission? Uh, yeah. Uh, but it's not. <laughs> like, it's, it, you get... Because the team that gets LeBron to come to them, you're going to get the jersey sales go to the roof, the ticket sales, this, everything in the city is going to start getting... The glaze, the... The fan, the fandom, like around the city, everybody's gonna make money. Like everybody makes money with LeBron coming to your town, right? So that makes sense from a money standpoint. But to him, if you go to the the Pistons or you go to like a, a team that's not as good, the Trailblazers, some stupid shit like the does Hornets. that. The Hornets, does that's is that where you want to end LeBron? 